All right, line number one. Let's see your line number one. Hello, you're on the Bobo Show, all right? Hey, this is the Bobo. <laughs> this, this, this guy again. I feel like I'm talking uh, to myself. All right, we got a caller on uh, line two. Who is... All right, you're on the Bobo Show, all right? Hey, Bobo, uh, first-time listener, long-time caller. All right. Uh, I just wanted to ask you a few questions about uh, Christina and the Queen's Motor Inn. Have you ever been, got to do some pussy diving down there? <laughs> no, that never happened. And second, uh, my uncle has no, no longer anything to do with that inn. He hasn't worked there in quite a number of – it's been like five years or so. So uh, he last worked there. Has your shriveled up weird penis? No, no one, no one's ever done that. I thought your brother did. And no, he never did either. No, that's what he said. He said you were gay, and your brother touched it. No, nah, he never, he never did. Oh, uh, are you sure? Maybe just maybe, maybe he put his penis in your asshole. No, nah, he never did either. Okay, well, I just want to make sure that you have a good day, and uh, hopefully one day you'll eventually get one. All right, no problem. All right, we got a caller on line uh, four. Line four, you're on the Bobo Show. Hello, Bobo. Yeah, who is this? This is Nucky Thompson from Atlantic City. How are you? How you doing, Nikki Thompson? It's actually Nucky. All right, well, how you doing, Nucky Thompson? I'm calling to ask you if you do have a job because I am looking for a butler. <laughs> it, sounds like, it sounds like a big voice. All right, we got one on line, uh, line two, line two. You're on the Bobo show, all right? Hey, Bobo, it's me, David. How you doing there, Bobo? <laughs> oh, great, another, another fake David. All right, I guess we got one here on line, uh, line four. Line four, you're on the Bobo show, all right? Hello, Bobo, this is Nucky Thompson again. <laughs> oh, great, it's <this> going <laughs> All right, it looks like we got one on line two. Line two, you're on the Bobo Show, all right? Hi, Dave. <laughs> oh, great. We got the same, same three guys. Here we go. We got use the bottom. Use the bottom one, Bobo. The, the bottom, this one. There you go. All right, we got line five. Line five, who is this? Hi, this is Dag from Brantford. All right, how you doing, Bragg? You're on the Bobo Show. Uh, I'm good. I had two really quick questions. Is that okay? All right, no problem. Ask away. All right, Bobo, I know you have a very vivid imagination, so just imagine that your family's been captured by ISIS, and they say that the only re way that they're going to let them go is if you have sex with either Rat or Keith. Who do you have sex with and why? I guess... I would probably end up having to be having to be rat. God damn it! <laughs> oh, wh why is that? Is it because he's younger or more handsome? Nah, I I don't know. I think I think it's a I think this guy I think he's gone through enough as a cop that he's probably seen enough shit that I don't think he needs that that to any, <laughs> any bad memories. All right, that's a really good answer. My my, my second question was regarding, uh, I know you're friends with A-list celebrity and star of film Colin Quinn, and the two of you are planning to do a road trip. I was just wondering, uh, what places do you think you're going to hit up and when? Well, we're not, we're not sure when it is yet. There's, there's, there's still like a Kickstarter fund being set up soon in the works. My friend, my friend Linz is going to be setting that up pretty soon. And, oh, that's great. And it's going to be from... Uh, from New from New York to L.A. and there'll be quite a bit of stops on the on on the road there, and depending if they for whatever reason I end up having to getting to keep the the vehicle, I might do a crazy return trip back to New York. It take a bunch of detours throughout the country on the return well, Bobo, trip. When you travel from New York to L.A., one of the places along the road is Brantford, Ontario, and you and Colin would find this interesting. The telephone was invented here, and the first long-distance call was made here. Would you maybe like to visit and make a long-distance call from here? I guess we might do a thing like a like a, a random long random ass long-distance call and mess with that caller. All right. That sounds great, Bobo. It's great to hear from you. Uh, you've been missed. I know you haven't been on the air for a long time, and uh, all the fans have missed you, and we love you dearly.
All right, and if you're looking about that Kickstarter front page, it'll it'll be up soon. As soon as as soon as I get the news about it from Linz that it's up, I'll be tweeting the link and wherever you know wherever I mention the link to. All right, great to hear from you, Bobo. Bye. All right, All right. we got line four. Who? Do the top ones. Oh, line four. Who is this? Hello, operator. Can you get me Long Island, please? There seems to be a problem with my connection. Uh, we're, we're not sure who this is. <laughs> All right, I guess we'll lo- line one. You're on the Bobo show. Hello, Bobo. Yeah, who is this? Who's this? Are you really, you really there? Yeah, this really is the guy. Wow, I'm surprised that he actually let you touch his phone. <laughs> I'm just touching a few buttons. What's that? It's just such a few buttons, and the hands were washed beforehand. No, I hope they were washed beforehand, because, you know. Oh, don't worry, they were. They they were. You were spanking off to some of those fappening pitches before you got out there, right? No, 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 I I, wasn't. (laughs) Can't even talk to this fucking clown. (laughs) All right, I guess we got a lot. Line two, you're on the Bobo show, all right? Hi, Bobo. I think you're cute. Uh, I know this is some dude imitating a voice. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Alright, line, line, line three, you're on the Bobo show, alright? Hello, Bobo. <laughs> yeah, who is this? Nucky Thompson from Atlantic City. Can you please stop hanging up on me? <laughs> oh, great, this guy again. You gotta hang up the bottom button. Oh, it's the bottom. It's the bo- bottom. Oh, uh, line one. Who is this? Hey, Bobo. This is Ace. How you doing? How you doing, Ace? Good. Uh, I've been a big fan of you since the uh, WNW days. You're just uh, a wonderful talent. I, I haven't been around that long unless for whatever reason I end up owning a DeLorean and I don't own one yet, I guess. Wow, that's that's way more creative than I would have thought from a retard. Jesus. Right. Well, what well, what is it you want to say? Oh, I just have some quick questions about uh, the Mets uh, pitching staff that's coming from the coming up, uh, upcoming next season. What do you think about the Mets next year? I think we got a lot of good we got a lot of good pitching. Uh, maybe a, a wealth of pitching, especially if uh, Harvey comes back from the from that injury, and we uh, looks like we got we're gonna be, we're gonna okay. be solid pitching wise. It's gonna yeah, be our hitting. We'll spend question. money. What was it like to fuck your brother? I never did, sir. All right, we got a caller num- We got a caller on the lo- on line four. Line four, you're on the Bobo show, all right? Hey, Bobo. Yeah. This is Chalky. Yeah. Just kidding. It's Nucky Thompson from Atlantic <laughs> City again. <laughs> all right, I guess let's try. Let's try the old line. All right, line one. Who is this? Hello. Hello, how you doing? This is Bo- you're on the Bobo show, all right? How are you? I'm doing fine. What do you what do you want to say? I'm going to ask you a couple of questions, and I'd like to have them answered immediately. Okay, ask away. Who is your daddy, and what does he do? First of all, my fa- my father is no longer on this earth. I'm a cop, you idiot. Uh. This is Detective John Kimball. <laughs> God, we got we got a bad got a John Kimball impersonation. <laughs> all right, I get the line two. You're on the Bobo show, all right? All right, Bobo. Hey, it's Lady Trucker. How you doing, Lady Trucker? Oh, I'm doing good. I was just so sad to hear that you know that chick didn't show up today. Did Did you think your penis was going to be touched today? Yeah, possibly. Oh, that's just such a bummer. Well, I am really horny, and I was wondering maybe if you want to do a little dirty talk. <laughs> uh, but uh, but uh, if you, if you, I guess if you like that, then uh, <laughs> I don't know. I guess guess maybe just I guess maybe this might be a good goof one. All right, all right. Well, I gotta say, uh, how how big are your are are your cans? How big is what? Your cans. My what? Oh, your, boob, your boobs. Oh, my boobs. Oh, cans. Uh, they're, uh, they're really big, but they're really floppy, too. 
Mm, I guess I can work with that. <laughs> oh, okay. Because, like, if you walked up to me and we were, you know, like I was laying in bed on my back, they would be laying on the side of my chest. So you'd have to, like, lift them up from the side to uh, be able to have fun uh, fondling the nipples. Mm, I guess you get, get to work with that. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, I figure, you know, maybe I'd just start out by walking up to you uh, with my top off and have your top off and after giving you a French kiss why I would touch my nipples to your nipples. Yeah, that's yeah, it's nice. You like you like nipple play? Yeah. Oh, okay. And then uh, one thing I I would do too would be uh, I like teasing your cock. Yeah, that so nice. um but I'd be in a hurry to tease your cock. So what I would do is just go ahead and just rip your pants and your underwear off. Mmm, that's nice. So what uh, what type of underwear do you have on today? Uh, I just got black, just a uh, just a uh, black briefs. Um, uh, hey guys, I'm having a tough time hearing through the sexy music. Um. But, uh, yeah, once I got your pants and your underwear off, I would just want to go down and just lightly breathe my hot lady trucker breath all over your penis. <laughs> uh, smell to remember. Now, uh, have you had, ever had a woman's hot breath on your penis before? Nope, never have. Ooh. Have you ever... Uh, how, how often have you thought about just having a, a woman's lip around your hard cock? Probably a bit. Quite a bit. But quite a bit. Yep. Well, now, if I'm going to take your massive hard cock into my mouth, are, are you going to make me gag? Uh, I don't, I don't know about that. But I guess you can always try. <laughs> well, okay, but I mean, I, I'm, you know... When Dr. Steve looked at your penis, he said you had some girth to you. I, I like a girth yeah, man. Yeah, well, well, that, well, it might, well, it's a good chance that it will. Oh, now, have you ever measured the girth of your penis? Uh, that I quite never have. Oh, man, you need to get one of those tape, uh, measuring tapes and, uh, just let us know how girthy you are, you know, how all the way around your penis is. All right, I guess I um, can... Because I can do that one of these days at home. Oh, okay. Um, you know what? I, I can't do this anymore. I'm sorry, sweetie. You have a good day. All right, you too. All right, you 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 have a good day, lady trucker. She's gone. She All right, Bobo. I think we have time for one more call, Bobo. Time for one more. All right. Uh, congratulations. All right, congratulations, caller number five. You are the you are the last caller on this uh, whatever trial run, whatever DVD extra, the Bobo Show. Hello, hello. Let's try. Let's try number two. Caller number two. You're you're on the Bobo Show. Hi, Bobo. Hi. Who who is this? And uh, what do you want to say? I want to say that you fucking suck and your dick looks like a whipped cream nozzle. We'll let you take one more, Bobo. You can't end on a negative note like uh, that. All right. All right. We got a line four. All right. We got a li line five. Who is this? Hey, Bobo. It's Sue. How you doing? Good. Uh, I've got a handicapping question for you when it comes to a sports betting. I was wondering, which one of these three things do you think will happen first? The Mets winning the World Series, you getting a blowjob, or Rat getting laid? I have a weird feeling that if I'm going to be playing the Vegas odds, the Mets winning the World Series. Very good. Have a good day, sir. All right. All right, and that's all. Sign off, Bobo. <laughs> you guys sign off. All right, you, got, you guys have a great day, and... Uh, Good luck, and uh, I guess uh, take care of yourself. All right. <laughs>